All right, guys. So we've had a lot of people ask for me to show you how we are doing our pulls. Yeah. They want more in-depth Too late. Stuff. He's already ready done to do it. No, that's okay. Boom fast. I've got a couple of these uh, snakes or, or pulling heads already made up. Now, like I've said in previous videos, the one time I ever did some commercial electrical work, all the electricians argued they we'd pull a wire for like 20 minutes and then they'd argue for about 15 minutes about how how it would have went better if they'd have done it the way they they like to pull them. So this is something that's highly contested, highly argued. Hmm. We usually set these guys up. Oh, are you humming on my no. argument? It too have found its way into our ranks as well. Um, main main thing I was just main takeaways. These are kind of obvious things, but when you put your spools on whatever you've got your rack, if you're a high dollar electrician, you may have a wire pulling rack. Make sure that all your spools are gonna unwind in the same direction. If they're winding against each other, they're gonna bind. That's not how I put my toilet paper on. That's not how I do it. And then another thing you wanna do is, um, you either have to really get these ladders down. braced off, that would work. or you wanna have uh, somebody minding the spools. You have a guy okay. feeding. And then you have somebody nice, a nice strong man, like Dr. 775 here, <laughs> pulling. And you want to communicate with each other. You're not just going to pull like a savage. Why you're not? Gonna, you're going to do something like pull. And then the he pulls. Three, pull. pull. And then he pulls. Pull. And then he pulls. We don't ever videotape these pulls because there's usually not enough hands on all that. four people working. Position. But you would say in position. Pull. 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 Um, do you want to uh, do anything to protect that from skinning? You yes. don't want to damage your wire. We're also going to be using lube. Yes. Wire lube. All you awesome commercial electricians out there that are watching my videos and you're saying you, you've been, you probably know everything about commercial, you probably are laughing at us pulling wire, but you don't know solar. So you're watching this video. So the pool's going pretty good. When a pool's going good like this, there might not be a lot of communicating. You might just be pulling. Spools are running good. Abraham's feeding it. I got a glove on. I'm just kind of keeping it off the edge. Got a piece of PVC pipe. You guys are doing great! There. And they're just pulling away down there. You can't even see them. What'd you do? Hook it up to one of those cows? Might put a little loop in here in a second, but this is one of those situations where it's ideal we got a really straight run of pipe they're pulling downhill and uh this is how it is every time right abraham that's correct every this single is what we time, for every time. Yeah, this is what you'd like to have there's some good planning went into this pull yeah pulling like a dream son hold on hold on lube it up hold oh on. she felt like she was sticking a little bit so we helped <laughs> All right. Real funny. Just turn, turn, turn your glove over. Okay. 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 So that's it for the pull. Then you want to make sure you cut your wire off too short. <laughs> right? That's right. Um, These are going PDB right in here, correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, so yeah. I'm going to make sure I have enough to come up, at least to the other side of the guy. Yeah. Talking wire sizes, guys, that's a whole nother topic but i will say we're running about 20 amps on each circuit a little under 20 amps and of course the solar arc self limits each string to 20 amps but we've got uh two sets of number eight conductors for our uh, dc runs we've got strings of seven yeah so it's strings of seven there's and they're four strings of seven parallel. yeah they're four strings of seven two strings are parallel on Come each on, one man. So four strings of seven, uh, we're paralleling those four strings into two strings. Then we're running through our DC disconnects. We're bringing back two sets of conductors, four wires. They're running about 18 amps. Self, Solark self limits to 20 amps, which I already told you guys. And then, uh, so each MPPT, each MPPT channel of the Solark can only pull about 20 amps and then um, 
We've got uh, 72 cell modules. There's those 72 cell modules. These are Axitec 385s. Um, 72 cell module is going to be around 45 volts or open circuit, around 36 volts under load. So here's where they were pulling. They were pulling right through this LB. That's an LB. Come around to this half. We're coming the around here. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, nice. How'd you, how'd you put it over the truss? Just put it over the truss and, and we it, took off. And just took off? Yeah, you guys really pulled it fast. There's our pull box. And, um, and you can see our disconnects under there, too. Some nice work, guys. Almost, Antonio. This is called mule tape. Antonio, can I see it? This is the cord they're using to pull. This is for pulling, electrical pulling. You can also call it, I think they call it pull cord, maybe? But it actually says mule tape on it right there. And it tells you the brake strength. It also has foot markings on it. So there's, you know, originally it had the footage on it. And usually we'll suck a string, we'll bury a conduit, bury it all the way through. Then we'll use a lightweight string and suck it through with a vacuum. And then we'll take the vacuum and or we'll take the string we've sucked through and we'll tie this mule tape onto it and pull the mule tape through. And then we use the mule tape to pull that. Alright guys, so I've got the cable head or pulling head or whatever you want to call it. This is the piece that Abraham's always taping up when you see in the video that he never shows you how he does it. So that I just grabbed him out of the trash on the job. And I want to show them to you because I want you guys to see how he's taping them up. So I'm going to unravel them real quick. Forearms are feeling great after pulling all this tape off. Well, it's not that much tape. It's probably a quarter of a roll. But what I want you to see is that he's been in these wires in such a way that one is hooked to the other and they can't get off of each other. So without pulling it apart, I want you to see why they call it the daisy chain method. So they're all kind of tucked in, remember, because you want, you want them to slide through the pipe. This is the last wire in the, in the bunch. And it's hooked over the other ones. And he's bent it back, and then the other ones, he's just got them. Basically hooked over each other. So this one got hooked on there. And this one's hooked onto here. See, I never got on any big... Abraham had a chance to work for Sundance power systems in North Carolina, who I also worked for. Some might even say I got him the job, but he had a chance to work for them. They would always get real busy in the, at the end of the year because of the tax credits. So he got to work for them on some big commercial jobs where they were involved in some big pulls. And I guess he just remembered how the pulls went. And I just never have been privy to that information. So the first wire in this whole group, I would have a rat's nest, is the piece of number, the black piece. The black piece is going, coming in, making its first loop. Then he loops the red 
through the black, pulled apart. What a rat's nest. So the first one you do, your main wire, your lead, I don't know what you want to call it, but you, you, he's got it, it's black wires looping around, and then it's woven around the knot. So the black wire is the first, it's bent over itself, hooked around, and then bent around that, and it's taped. And then he's got a red, and you would take an orange, hook an orange, then that one back. There's the little crook right there. Then you could take your blue, hook it on there. I'd probably cut this orange wire to have some taper to it. Then you would hook your last wire on there. Bend it back. There's a million ways to do this. Not a million, but there's a bunch of different ways. And then you tape all this up, hit them with your pliers, crimp them up, and you basically end up with what Mr. Abraham does on every one of our pulls when he tapes them up. So I hope that's helpful to you guys. And you could cut, you know, this one off, cut that one off a little shorter. Anything you can do to taper it down, this is what you're going for. Something not really fat, not gonna really get snagged on the on the uh, fittings. That's what you want. So, we don't argue about it too much. We did have a job where we did argue a little bit, but most of the time, I'd say 99% of our pulls are hard, but they go off, they go fine. We've never had any situation where we couldn't pull it. So, here you have it. I'd love to know how you pull wire. <laughs>